Hello guys, this is a Chronic DW40 Max, whatever you want to call me. I'm uh, just making a video for uh, Warcraft 2 and for free castles. I'm going to try to do a little bit of a tutorial just to kind of get new players to play free castles. It's a it's a great game. The it's not so much based off of uh, micromanagement like a lot of the uh, the BNE maps or any of those smaller uh, paintball levels. This is all about macro management, and it's uh, just a lot of crazy fun if you really can get into it. But the problem is that nobody just nobody understands how much fun it really can be. Nobody will actually give it a chance. <laughs> So I'm just going to make a tutorial, kind of giving just the basics on uh, how to actually play the game. And then hopefully people will actually look at the video and try to play it on their own. Play against the computers, play against other players, do whatever. It just makes it more fun for everybody if everybody knows how to play different types of games. <clears throat> Alright, so <clears throat> Free Castles, it's been around for quite a long time. I've been playing it since about 2000, 2001 or so. So I've kind of got the basics down, I would have to say. And the main two levels that anybody will play nowadays is just the 007 level and the 214 level. Two, uh, 214 created by UTT Cutie Girl and 007 was by James Bond, uh, the 007 clan. Long time ago. <clears throat> Then there was a f quite a few others. One others here. There's eight map. There's KOH. There's mini freeze. There's a bunch of different levels, but two one four or the double oh seven level are what you're gonna find nowadays. I'm gonna show this tutorial first on um double oh seven. Double oh seven is a uh, a uh, one twenty eight by one twenty eight uh level. <clears throat> it supports up to eight players. Most of the time, you're going to only find a game that is a 2 versus 2 or a 1 versus 1 situation. Now, there's just not enough players to actually make it an 8 by 8 game. It would be really cool if we could get a bunch of people after this tutorial to start playing free. And we would be able to actually get a full 8 by 8 game, which would be just an absolute blast. So, we're going to do this 007. <clears throat> and I'm going to pick the human race. Typically, when you play... um. Uh, free castles. Human race is usually the best bet. Orcs are a little bit harder to actually play as when you're doing free castles. Orcs don't have the same abilities that are usually uh, more advantageous for free castles. They have uh, the humans have invisibility, which is one of the key factors to actually winning a match in free castles, particular, particularly. Uh, orcs, they have the Whirlwind and they have Death and Decay. Whirlwind is actually great for 214 because it'll actually take out the towers, it'll take out buildings, and things like that. The biggest difference between 214 and 007 is the, the building style, the strategy that you play in that game. 214 is not so much based off of uh, the invisibility, it's more based off of uh, towers, ballistas. And tunneling, they uh, two, uh 007, It's pretty much invisibility, uh, maging, which is what we call. It's pretty much just blizzarding, uh, with like a bunch of unit, a bunch of mages all simultaneously. It makes for quite a storm of uh, crystals falling from the sky. And then another uh, aspect of 007 would have to be. Um, creating a bunch of units, a bunch of paladins specifically. Paladins are the strongest units that you can get, plus for 007 only, well not, I shouldn't say 007 only, 007, KOH, whatever, all those other levels that you may play, minus 214. 214 does not have range for their paladins. Range is only on the archers, the ballistas, the mages. <laughs> Um, so we're going to go ahead and start. We're going to do the 007 level. We're going to play as the humans. I'm going to click start. 
All right, so I happen to be the well, yellow. Hello, yes, my lord. My lord. I'm gonna cheat for this uh, against the computers online. Don't cheat. Don't hack. I don't condone it. I think it's stupid. Don't do that. But I'm doing it now just for the purpose of getting the layout for the level. It turns out that the one level that I happen to have right now is actually rigged, but... I'm gonna have to. Do <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe it's actually just flipped upside down, is what this one looks like. But yes, yellow, 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 right here. Then I guess it's gonna be red here, and then probably per or teal, and then purple will be over here. This will be yellow, black, orange, and white. Maybe, possibly. But anyway, the basic idea Lord. for this level, when you get your units, is you want to rush to the middle. You want to build in the middle first. This will give you the uh, the advantage, um, uh, the momentum, <laughs> or to uh, to push down into your units, yes. uh, the enemy players. So we want to take both of our units, and we want yes, to rush down to the middle. Yes, yes, Lord. There's a bunch of different strategies to actually play this game. I'm not going to show my particular strategy. Because I know there's a bunch of players that might possibly watch this and they'll kind of know how I play and they'll start maging the crap out of the area that I build everything in. But the basic idea what you want to do is you want to build a town hall okay. God's and you want to build barracks. All right. What is it? So God's done. Yes, me lord. If we're in God's a 2 done. Two situation, you do not want to crowd this space over here. You want to kind of stick to your own, and you want each player to have their own battle. So I, if Red was actually a, a user or some, a real person playing, Red would be building up right below me, and me and Red would be having a battle. If I had my other teammate playing over here, my teammate would be building right in this area, right here where my cursor is. And then the blue character, or the blue person, would be running up and building right here so that my partner and the blue character or the blue person would be fighting right there you can help each other but it's Lord. best just to stay out of the way just so they have their own space to fight their own battle <coughs> and then after this Hello. you want to try to push down okay. this God's done. and you want to push down at the same time ready, 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 other player will be building yes, up. Yes, me lord. For say, say that my town hall that I'm building Go right now. God does. Yes, me lord. God ready does. Ready to go. All right. What is it? God does. God does. He'll be building. He'll be fighting you. Ready to go. 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 Press the barrack. Uh, press the P. These P's are a shortcut on your keyboard. And it shows you right down here at the bottom of the screen. It shows a P. The P is in yellow. That would be your shortcut key to press. A town is under attack. So on this barrack, you want to press P because paladins are the strongest units to be able to use pretty much any 007 or any uh, free castle level. So I'm going to press P. And we want to press P three times. We do not want to press more. We don't want to press less. If we press less, we're shorting our self unit. If we press more, there's going to be a delay after the third unit. So we want to press it three times. Ready, to ready, 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 compensate on one side or the other or build them all at the same time if your unit uh, if red happens to be building right in this area right here you'll kind of want to build ready to 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 ready because the Your Majesty, in your from actually building any units over there. 
This will give you an advantage to actually continue Hello. to build down far. Now, another key Ready factor for 007 is maging. Maging is pretty pretty important because once you become pretty good at free castles, you're going to want to be maging other players. Maging is it? one what particular is it? building unless that is all the other player your opponent actually has. <clears throat> if you uh, build just, or if you try to mage just what one when there's all of these different barracks here, it's not actually going to affect the other player that much. You want to try to take out as many barracks as possible, as quick as possible. That would be the idea behind the middle battle. Because once you finish the middle battle, whoever wins, either your team or the uh, the opponent opposing team, they'll have uh, an advantageous momentum on their side. That means that they'll be, be able to push up a lot easier and a lot faster than you're going to be able to actually build initially. But anyway, when you build on your mind, you'll want to try to build keep the pressure on your opponent. But when you want a mage, you want to select the, any, uh, uh, any amount of uh, mages that you can. In this particular case, I'm going to select what all is nine. It? I'll just what double click it? on one unit and your I'll request. Click. Now, you can do it this way. All right. Your request. Actually, multi mage. Multi mages is when you simu simultaneously your request mage or blizzard with all your mages at a single moment. How we do that? Do you need is assistance? Double clicking on one of your mages. Your request. And then you want to press and hold the control key on your keyboard. So I'm going to press the hold the control key. Now I'm going to press one while still holding the control key. That will set your mages. When you set your mages, that means you assign a key or a button what to your mage so when you need to use them it'll select all the units all at one time so i'm going to press 1 i clicked off i clicked your off majesty kind of give an example of how this uh, applies so i press control your one request on all of my mages now i'm going to click a paladin what and home? then i'm going to click 1 what, what is it notice how it actually selects all of my mages again now, when I want to actually multi mage, where I remember, where I simultaneously mage with all of my mages at a single time, I want to click what on is one it? mage. Now, I want to press the B. The B is the shortcut key for Blizzard. Remember, shortcut key is the yellow letter at the bottom of the screen. So I want to press B. Now, I'll want to reselect all of my mages. And how I reselect all of my mages is clicking the Alt, click and hold the Alt button, which is two, key, uh, two keys over to the right of your control key. Click and hold Alt, and then press 1. Do you need assistance? Now, I have all of my mages selected. Now, I choose a place that I want to mage because all my mages will now mage at the same time. Like I said before, it would be best off to actually not mage up one particular barrack or building at one time. Your best I bet would actually be to mage a bunch of buildings at a single time. So in this particular case, I'm going to mage, I'm going to move my mage. All right, mage. well, your I'm request, your request. Mage these three barracks right here, and it's all about placement. If I want to hit all three of those barracks, I want to click on this unit right here. It happens to be this peasant. If there happens to be no unit, you want to click in that area. 
That means this, when I mage, it'll affect all three buildings. So watch. All right. Now, if you I load. take out all three of those buildings, I can have one of my peasants that I have available. Right tails. Right Hello. Right tails. This is a great strategy, okay. as you can Job's minimize done. the amount of room. Ready, 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 and then, notice how I just pressed the PPP on each of those buildings. Remember when I freehand each of those buildings, that allows units ready, to ready, stop ready, 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 or your opposing team's peasants building to build up in your area. It'll kill those peasants and it'll allow you to have the advantage. Now, now that I have taken a kind of uh, a brief tour or a brief... Uh, instructions on how to actually fight a middle b battle what you still want to move we are all your enemies all your, enemies, or all your uh, units down we are we are a good strategy to get into our good uh, practice is to have all your units patrol since we all we, we don't want to do the control one on these units because we do not want to keep these units selected. These units will eventually die and the control one key that you set will no longer be valid. So you'll want to push P. The P shortcut is the patrol. P uh, key is the patrol shortcut key. So I want to patrol these units down this way. Oh, okay. I mean by the visible range. I'm going to turn this on screen machine off. This will turn the screen to have Fog of War back on. Fog of War is just the blackness that you can't see uh, if you don't have it visible to you already. See? Now you see that there's black path here. That is the visible range. When I see these units here, you see that uh, bright area around them? That is their visible range. So what I wanted to do to kill these um, towers that are over on this side, I will want to control units on the other side. We are so under I'm attack. Control them, and I'm going to click on my mini map. Defending your right honor. There, they will attack. The we are under attack. Playing free castle. Your Majesty. Use your mini map. Map would be your best friend. Defending your armor. It doesn't make you, uh, you're not taking your we eyes are off under the attack. You're sending units just kind of randomly at your to service. For the king. This way, you can keep your eye just in case, say, you use an invisible uh, build up in your uh, space up here in the middle. Uh, half the uh, over the lane. Or down here on the bottom of the base. Now, what, what is it? Is it? Well, let's say that you lose Ready to in the lose middle. It. What I mean by lose is all of your build buildings get destroyed in the middle and you can no longer put up a fight. Okay. You right. want to right. Right. the lane. The lane is the area between your team's towers here in the middle. Or this long space right here. Hello. You'll want to take one of your right. okay. and you'll all want to right. go yes. Yes, me lord. All right. Jobs done. What is correct. it? Yes, me lord. Done. Yes, me lord. Three right town hall, street castle, Jobs street castle, yes. whichever you, it is, across the entire area. This yes, me lord. Done. Visible units can easily access the top space of the map without either using a, a mage's blizzard to get around these walls or somehow destroy these buildings and allow that invisible unit to go through. Hello, now, all right, all right. God's ready to do it. Yes, me lord, 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 God's done. Ready to do it, 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 so, what is it? To okay. Be yes, me lord. Your middle majesty. Middle 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 your middle middle your majesty. Your majesty. Your majesty. Your majesty. Your Your majesty. 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 Your majes
uh, a big long line okay, that right, right, right. the bottom space of the map. So it'd be from like say here up along the wall all the way down to the bottom of the map. This will be what okay. A bunch yes, of me lord. No, yes, me lord. Jog, don't die too. Jog, lord. Okay. Jog, don't. Okay. Jog, don't. Yes, me lord. Jog, don't. Okay. Jog, don't. Yes, me lord. Jog, don't. Okay. Jog, don't. Okay. Jog, don't. Okay. Uh, players are never able to assume what I'm going to build like. This is now a wall. This wall consists of my mage tower. <laughs> will not be for say what the computer has done here they have not built up a wall the enemy team will actually build a wall and you'll be required to actually <laughs> so in this instance i'm going to quite a few strategies and I'm not gonna actually give out all the strategies to the game it'll be up to the player to actually learn the strategies and actually play with these uh the more your magic, your magic, your magic, your magic, your magic. game type they will uh learn and adapt over time and what experience if you learn how to actually play all the game types so, without any more 
information to really get to your service, your name. What ho? We mean in your honor, Majesty. Your name, in your honor. What ho? In your mood, your Majesty. Do you need assistance? All right. What is it? As you wish, your request. Very well. What is it? As you wish, your request. As you wish. well. Do you need assistance? Very well. Very well. Do you need assistance? Very well. Very well. Very well. Micromanagement. But what is it? Is you well. right. lied to free castles because free castles your request. Are right. Do you need as you assistance? Wish. Your request. At your service. Do you need as you wish. Wish. All right. Simultaneously. Your request. Is it? As you wish. Your request. All right. But anyway, this is Chronic DW40. Whatever you want to call me. Do you need assistance? As you wish. Very well. Very well. Warcraft 2 combat. See you guys later.